The world's first low GI sugar has been unveiled in Canberra this morning. The new product is being hailed the healthy alternative to white sugar. And with details, President of the Glycemic Index Foundation, Professor Jenny Brand Miller, joins us now. Good morning to you, Jenny. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning. What are the benefits of low GI sugar? Well, like all low GI foods, they help to keep your blood sugars on an even keel, mm -hmm. stop the roller coaster ride, and that's good for you in the long term as well as the short term. Mm -hmm. Looking at those who suffer diabetes, particularly beneficial to them perhaps? Absolutely, mm -hmm. because as we know they've got the highest blood sugar levels and this help, helps to keep their blood sugar levels under control mm -hmm. and that reduces their risk of complications. Can you take us through how it's made then? All right, well, it's a, it's a world first and it's an Australian innovation and what they've done is convert a whole refinery into a special place to produce this low GI sugar mm -hmm. and what they're doing is really just taking the natural nutrients that occur in the cane sugar and keeping them there. So it's kind of what we always wanted of raw sugar, to have some nutrients in it. Indeed. Does it look like normal sugar and importantly, how does it taste? Okay, it looks like raw sugar, right. so lovely golden colour, sure. and it tastes exactly like white sugar, and you can use it in every place where you'd normally put white sugar. It's a massive breakthrough, isn't it? Um, tell us about the, I suppose, the side effects of eating too much sugar. What are the problems associated with that? Well, the side effects of eating too much sugar are the same as eating too much of anything, mm -hmm. whether it's fat or protein or alcohol, so you get, you put on weight. Yeah. But we're not asking people to eat more sugar. This product, if you replace what you normally eat, the white sugar you normally eat with this product, then it's a step in the right direction. You must be very chuffed to uh, know that obviously it's an, a world first here in Australia. It's, it's a great breakthrough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're ahead of the rest of the world, not just in terms of putting low GI diets into practice, but coming up with products that are uniquely Australian, like this one. Touching on that point, low GI foods, other versions that perhaps are in the, uh, the melting pot at the moment? Can you tell us anything uh, down the track? Well, lots of manufacturers are working on them and there's some um, out there on the supermarket shelves now. There's lots of breads and breakfast cereals and they should look for the low GI symbol, which is the, the real G spot. Um, which is blue and white, and you see that on the new low GI sugar. Well done. Congratulations. That's great, and it's great news for everyone out there looking for that alternative. Thank you again, Professor Jenny Brand-Miller, joining us here Thank in the studio. You.